nekuanhan mana yan matsiwa. Eskwali. Hello, welcome to Painting with the Artist with Melissa Pachima, hosted by the Will Wright Museum of American Indian. Today we are going to start off with a colorful palette uh, given to us by the artisans of uh, Santa Fe here in town. Uh, we have some different colors that we are going to be working with. So let's get started. So in this cup we have gesso and we're just going to gesso the canvas and you know we're just going to get it all over. And what the gesso does, it actually gives a more smoother tone to the canvas. So we'll just get that all on there. And it's a, a white gesso, so it kind of blends into the canvas. And that's what you want. It's a kind of smoother background to where the pigments of the color will hold it. Okay. So we'll get that on there and give it a moment to dry. And the colors that I am going to be working with today are actually, it's going to be purple, a light tone of blue, blue, a darker set of blue, red, yellow, and white. I like working with kind of like a brighter end of um, the colors of the rainbow. The reason because of that is I am an um, artist myself by heart and I believe that we should use bright colors because it reflects more into the positive side of life and that's one thing that I do with my own artwork. So one thing about painting that I love is that you do not need to follow the rules of basic painting. You need to find your own set of rules that I believe that you can, you know, just create anything. There's no set of rules. So that's one thing that we're going to be learning is to get out of the mindset of rules. Breaking the rules of painting and just, you know, getting paint on the canvas. Again, embracing that beautiful color of life. So here goes our little red tone mixed in with the little purple that we are going to be using. And by nature and by heart, I'm an abstract painter. So you're going to kind of see that in our work that we're going to be doing today and throughout the session. So again, we're going to get out of the mindset of thinking and just kind of going to let it flow let it flow you know especially with what's going on in the world today and i'm not going to hit on that because we're going to be focusing on the positive side of life now i'm going to be adding some yellow in just getting it all in there and right now as you can probably see it's kind of doing a ray of purple red and yellow getting that kind of beautiful sunset color in. I'm just going to wash that in there. And it's okay if you don't cover the, you know, the whole canvas with this because we're going to be adding in all different colors. Here goes a little bit yellow. I kind of touched it again with the purple. And as you can tell, I am not, you know, rinsing my paintbrush. Not yet. That's not what we want right now. We just want a dry brush technique going on with the different colors and getting it all in there. Because, you know, the reason why I'm not rinsing my brush right now is because I want more of a darker tone with the lighter tone. So that's kind of what we're going for here. The more the darker, the brighter, the better, because what I believe in life is that you can't have the brightness without the darkness. And that just goes for any meaning in life. So we're just gonna lather it all on there. And if you can tell with my brushing strokes, right now it's a back and forth motion that we're gonna do. 
working all the way down. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my background. I'm from Hopi, from uh, from uh, the village of Shimopavi. And, you know, we as Hopi, we are known to be uh, the peaceful people. And we do try to focus more on the positive side of life and, you know, everything that we go through in life has some kind of meaning and some kind of, you know, more or less of a clearing of life space in your head, wherever you're at. So we try to more or less focus on that rainbow effect that we're having right here. Again, you can't always have that rainbow and that's okay because, you know, again, with the darkness, with the clouds, we'd say the omas, you have to have that rain to come in. And what that rain does, it ends up more or less kind of clearing the earth, clearing Mother Earth, we say, and reviving her. And, you know, that's what we want is for our Mother Earth to be revived and you know, have plenty of nourishment, and that's why we pray for rain all the time, because we are looking for that, you know, nourishment, that rain. So I am gonna go over here for a minute. I'm gonna set this down. I'm just gonna re-put more paint onto my palette here. And we have different colors, you know, that we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna add in a kind of like a hue, more or less like a turquoise color, I would say, like a indigo turquoise. I'm gonna add that in too, because what I want is kind of, again, like that darker color at the bottom. So more turquoise adding in. So when you look at the painting, it tends to go from a red, orange, pink, blue, purple, yellow, green, you know, again, focusing on all that color in the rainbow. So I'm just gonna get the bottom here. And normally, if I was working in my studio, you would see pink everywhere. <laughs> so I am gonna try and do my best not to get paint on myself because for some reason as an artist, we tend to get paint everywhere. And some of you guys might notice being artists of yourself. For myself, I tend to paint on myself. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something with the color of the paint and the texture, I actually have to paint on myself. But we are gonna try and stay clean. So here goes a little bit of red into the blue, kind of giving that purple effect. And one thing I like to do all the time is mix my colors. Mixing colors is always fun. And it's always fun to do too as well because you get to learn that color palette well. And right now I'm a student at IAIA and I am learning all kinds of different techniques in there as well, being a student. But one thing I like though is always mixing colors because you never know what kind of colors will stick. I mean, to your own liking. So now that I have an array of different colors in there, I'm gonna add more yellow onto my palette. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water to each color pigment. Because as you see, as we go along, the colors are gonna start to blend nicely. So here we go, kind of see the little water splashes on my palette. I'm gonna go with the red and the yellow. I'm gonna go back from the top, adding in again, the red and the yellow mixing together. 
And what you're going to notice over the segment that we're going to be doing is how you see the painting right now is a ray of a sunset, more or less color. But trust me, it won't stay that way. <laughs> Being an artist, we tend to always move our painting palettes around in our colors. And that's okay because that's the best part about painting is you never know what it's going to become. And for me, I have a habit of switching things up all the time. So maybe it'll be a sunrise, maybe it'll be, I don't know, turn into birds, butterflies. And again, always focusing on the positive end side of life. So there you go, we're doing a little blending. So that will be it. As you can see, the blending is starting and that's the end of our segment for today. Join us next time and you'll see what it turns out to be. Bye.